Are you okay? Yeah. You're covered in sweat. It's hot as a furnace in hell out there. Look, why are you here? One of my after school kids has been missing for almost a week now. Come on, Mary, give me a break. I get it. You're leaving. No, you don't get it. I'm gone. It's a 15-year-old kid, Ron. And 15-year-old kids have a funny way of ending up being 15-year-old dope runners. Please stop. The Red Jesters harass him and beat up on him every time he leaves his house trying to recruit him. And now I, I think they finally- I have you since July. This is how you come in here. My last week. Another errand for an old fool. Get real, Mary. These animals are never gonna stop killing one another. And I'm through with being in the middle of it. To tell you the truth, Austin, I think it's a great story. I hadn't been so excited about a project in quite some time. <clears throat> well, uh, that's good to hear, Saul. I mean, we'll have to get a makeable start, but I'm convinced we can get this thing off the ground. What? Now, don't you think that we need another draft before we approach a star? No. No, I don't want you to touch that computer until we have some seed money. Well, that is just fine with me. I mean, you really managed to capture something this time. You in the wrong place, cousin. I'm doing things stupid. Explain to my brother why you're here, Joe. I'm looking for him. You don't need to be found, cop. Please. Tell him why you're looking. The Ragnick killed his brother. Dotson got. It's just a man. Nah, Joe. He's more than that. But not for long. You gonna cut out a song? You're animals. So are six billion other people on this planet. We just honest about it, Joe. You strip the world bare. And to be honest, nobody in this life needs your help. Saul Kimmer. Uh, Lee's been living out in the desert and he, he just... Uh, ah, Palm Springs. Yeah, yeah, right up there around, the, you know, Bob Hope Drive there. And yeah. he's just visiting. Yeah. Well, you know, the uh, weather is fine up there and I, the golf is just about the best. Uh, I play a lot of golf. <laughs> you really? Yeah, uh, been looking for a partner. Well, I, uh, what kind of a uh, handicap you got there, Mr. Uh, Kimmer? <laughs> I'm just a Sunday duffer, really. Better get together sometime and get ourselves a little game going. <laughs> that sounds great. Do you play Austin? Uh, no, I don't actually. Well, I how about tomorrow morning? We can get at 18 before breakfast. Oh, you know, my, my schedule's booked. Yeah. Oh, I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about really early, you know, like uh, <clears throat> crack of dawn, like, you know, like uh, when a dew, you know, the dew is still thick on the fairway, you know? Sounds great. Austin here could be our caddy. <laughs> now that's an idea. You know, I don't know the first thing about golf. That's something you can uh, pick it up in 15 minutes, golf, you know. It's... Yeah, sure, but it takes you a lifetime to learn your true form. Huh? I don't know if I'll teach able... him everything he needs to know. What do you say, Saw? So? Why not? Yeah, shucks, I had an exercise in weeks. Then it's a date. I'll call the country club and see if they can arrange something. <laughs> you see this? A soldier. A 19-year-old soldier trying to bring home his baby brother, and you killed him. What does that make you now? You just killed an innocent kid. None of us are innocent. My clients are killers. They may not cause the injuries, but they don't stop them from getting worse and I can't stop them. I've got a job to do, 
and it's probably very important to some people. It's the kind of thing that'll keep a person up at night. But this one's different. This one's personal. This one matters. I was almost your bad. <laughs>